boy sugar cube and today I have a video pretty much nobody will care about this is my top eight favorite weeks from math club so my teachers had an, an eight-week math club um, 80 kids wanted to join only 32 could I didn't want to my mom made me and I got picked it ended up being really fun so doing the next one too so yeah, there's like different sections and sessions, you know. There are eight weeks and I'd say about more than half of them are good. Like I think eight, seven and six are just the bad ones. Five and above are the good ones. So I think I should get started. Okay, so let's get started. Number eight is Cowabunga. Honestly, this wasn't that much fun. I had a great group except for one person that I won't mention. That person wasn't cooperative. Then my group fell apart and we needed help. Area and perimeter is usually easy if it's independent work. Groups, however, arguments could start and that's not fun. Overall, not a pleasing activity. Number seven, bouncy dice explosion. This was fun for a while, but it took a bad turn. Playing the probability game was fun. Giant human bingo got out of control, and when the team won, it got loud. Why couldn't we play the probability game the whole time? Overall, I overestimated this one. Number six. Toilet Paper Olympics. This is the definition of overrated. I thought it'd be a week to play and you'd get wrapped in toilet paper. Measuring is not playtime. I honestly thought this would rank number one or number two. But I'm very bummed about it. Because from the description, I thought it'd be very fun. Overall, overrated indie. Number five. Blow in the dark geometry. This was actually good because we were constantly given tasks in the time I could create a shape. Also, anything with the word geometry is good because it makes me think of my favorite game, which is Geometry Dash. It was fun to chill in the hub and create shapes with glow sticks. Overall, a fun way to build shapes. Also, March 20th, the GD 5th year anniversary for me is coming, so be sure to check that video out when it's uploaded. Number four, spy training. It's fun to act like a spy and decode messages, especially when you have to run around finding clues in a small hub. This was a fun time to chill and decode. Spies may not chill, but if they did, I'm sure they would like it. Overall, it's fun to decode. Number three, Crazy Card Club. This was fun to relax and play some card games. I love having my own set of cards. I actually have it right here. Yeah, right there. That's nice, ladies and gentlemen, that's nice. Even though I hardly use them, they're still fun to have. By now you can notice I like chilling in the hub. This week's activity did what I want with even some card games. Overall, I clearly love chilling. Number two, Pixel Palooza. This was insanely fun to build a stick man who's hanging up in my room. He's my friend. We even got to help build an awesome lot. In my part, I got to create the nose. Woohoo! I can't even describe how fun this was, but there's an even more fun one ahead of this. Can you remember? No, because you're not in the class. This was made for my classmates, and now it's going to be on YouTube. So no, you can't remember unless you're a classmate. Anyways, Overall, a very, very fun activity to once again chill in the hub. Number one, the greatest week for math club, in my opinion. 
Number one is daring darts. I can barely describe how fun it was to drop a hacky sack on a dartboard to see how many points you got. Not only that, but at the end, you toss a hacky sack from a partner. Why I love that? Well, I was with a very good person who played football. He threw a mistra and I recovered it. It was cool to experience it from my own two eyes. It was actually really epic in my opinion. Other kids may not have thought so, but I did. Anyways, overall, my favorite week from math club. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks to my teachers. Yeah, um, do you agree, disagree, if you're a classmate? Eh, hey, alright, well, that's the video. Peace from Sherkube. Bye!